We're at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds in Conroe, Texas. This is a rescue shelter right now after Hurricane Harvey. And what I want to do is give you five tips to make sure that you are prepared in case of a hurricane or natural disaster with your pets. One of the most important things is microchipping your pet. Do this ahead of time. It's very important to put a microchip in your pet and register that microchip. Yesterday, we saw 70 animals and only one had a microchip and that one was not even registered. Another thing that's very important is to make sure you have a collar with identification on the collar, a dog tag. And on that dog tag, you want to make sure you have your pet's name, address, and then on the back of it, your own, the owner's name and phone number. Make sure you have a current picture of your pet, and it's best to take the picture with you. And if there's any distinguishing marks on your pet, make sure you take a picture of that or at least list that down. The last thing that's very important is to have a current medical record of your pet. Vaccinations, heartworm status, and certainly any medical conditions and medical treatment your pet is getting. Oh, this one has, and this dog actually has an owner. Yes, and a microchip. So this dog is here just temporarily while the owner is getting their house you know, sorted out from the flood. But this one actually will be going home to his owner. During Hurricane Harvey, our house flooded and our, our older beagle got out. My three kids and I came down uh, to uh, see if we could find him. And we met a volunteer outside and she, uh, she walked us in and said, you know, let's go see if we can find your dog. And we walked in, he's right there in the corner and we're gonna take him home and uh, be, uh, be back together as a family again. We're, uh, everything these folks are doing is, it's pretty amazing. Everybody that helps out, it's an amazing thing and uh, we, can't, we can't thank everybody enough.